When I first collected, I had a, um, it was such a, an old tree. The owner said it's, um, by when I collected, it was like 135 um, years old. So add 15 years to so that would be like 150, I think. If I'm, I'm not good at math. <laughs> so anyway, I had it buried at this level right here. Because if I were to bury it very low, um, it's such an old tree, and it, it might um, cause it into go into stress, and it could die. So let me rotate around for to see, for you to see the whole trees. This tree has um, a lot of very good dead wood. The reason why this part of dead wood was. Um, as you can see, um, like that, because um, the grounds grow. They, they dug the holes and make um, the homes out of it during the um, summer months. And during a like, couple months during the winter, that, that spot where I dug this tree, it filled up the water. So over time, the water creates this natural f flow of dead wood right here. And you can only get that from nature. And I left, I intentionally left the uh, this native soil right here, which is really hard. It's almost like um, rock hard. And it to remind me of uh, where this tree was collected. And I, I dug this by hand, by the way. It, was, it took me quite a long time, the whole, the whole day, just to dig this tree right here. I wired this tree like two years ago for the in initial wiring. So I'm going to defoliate them today and going to do the um, final wiring for this tree. We're not going to do the carving today right here on the top. We're going to do that for maybe next time. And uh, sandblast too. So to start off, I'm going to defoliate, defoliate all the leaves here. Um, I will defoliate two thirds of the leaves in, could you zoom in right here? Could I get a detail shot? I'm going to def defoliate two thirds of the leaves. In this way, when I cut back here, it will encourage new growth, new growth from this area, new butter here, and it will have a uh, good ramification within a short amount of time. I would say within two years. So I'm just going to do, try to do a quick defoliation for every for every of this right here. Just cut off um, two thirds of the leaves. In this way, it will be more easy to wire. And then, so you can see all the, the branches in, de in, in detail. And it's good for the development of this tree in the future. So Roland, can you please help me with this? Mr. President. Oh, uh, no. You guys c could uh, go ahead and ask any questions. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer it for you. What do you think about this tree? Does anyone have like olive as bonsai? Or... No one? Olive, uh, they're like semi-tropical plants. They grow really well in, um, in Europe. And in Australia, where it, it become um, an invasive species right now because the birds, they eat the seed and they, 
they dropped it in new areas and it just it grows um, very well in Australia. Australia, as you know, it's a drought um, tol tolerant, a very dry place, but uh, olives, they don't need that much water to survive. Once they get a good, good rain and then after that they will grow like very fast. Uh, the best time would I, I do this from like in the middle of spring till late summer to repot this. You don't want to repot it like during the cold months because that doesn't, you want to give it mo the tree more time to adjust to the new soil and push out more root growth for in preparation of the winter. But if you're, if you're from, I would say if you're from like Florida, where it's like constantly hot, you can probably repot it like um, throughout the year, just only like a couple months in the winter time. You have to be, you have to avoid. takes time to defoliate other other leaves here but olive is very fun to work with because they um, they have very good natural deadwood the only the only way to get like um, olive with natural deadwood is through I would say Yamadori I would consider this a treat to be a Yamadori because where I collected this, it was on the hillside, and it was neglected for a long period of time. Um, the the property owner um, he, he he didn't do any maintenance for I would say 30, 40 years until I came by and he was happy, and this tree found a new home. Uh huh. She said, uh, "Please talk about the bottom dominance and how to work with such a tree." The bottom b dominance of this tree or her tree? Uh, I guess olives as a species, is what I'm guessing. Uh, dominant in terms of uh, new growth or y the suckers, because they tend to grow um, suckers out like this right here. So we, you would always. Um, for me, I would always leave a little bit, a uh, couple of branches to make it more natural on the bottom. But um, today I'm going to cut it down just to leave a um, couple of growth underneath. Uh, because I want, I want the viewer to see the, the life vein and then to see the deadwood from the other side too. Um, olive is a very drought tolerant tree. If you were to dig up young trees from a uh, garden, uh, my, one of my friends, he dug up a, a tree from the garden and he was very busy. So he didn't plant it until like two weeks later. He left it out in the full sun. Um, and he didn't, wa he didn't even water. So after that, he try he he planted it and it it grew back on, but that was a, a young tree. But if you were to treat this old tree in the same manner, it will most likely will will die because it's a very old tree and you want to take very good care of it. So Gloria is um, commenting that olives are bottom dominant. The bottom dominant. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not familiar with that in terms of growth or in terms of. Um, I don't know what she's referring to. So maybe if she, you could get her to. Add specifics. Yeah, in more details. Um, 
and then uh, I have another question. How rapidly does the deadwood decay? Uh, it's pretty, like the deadwood right here, um, olives is really hard wood. They use uh, olives um, for hardwood floor too. So once you create the deadwood, I would, for me personally, I would just put the lime sulfur once a year and then it would just protect it. Okay. Yeah, that was the follow-up question is how would you protect it? Yeah. And that question was from Zach. How are you doing there, Rowan? Pretty good. It's a lot of leaves to cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to thin up right, all the unwanted growth from here because it's blocking the view from the, the, the crevice, the cave-like features right here. Very interesting feature. So you want to bring out that features in an olive. You want to bring out all the, the, all the, the positive traits, the beauties of this tree. You don't want to hide it. You, only time when you hide it, if, if there's like a, a gold nuggets found somewhere here along the way. Hopefully we can find some today, Roland. <laughs> I hope so. We probably will. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this place, the uh, actually talking about gold nuggets. Um, the largest gold nuggets ever found was at the area of where I I dug this, but I didn't find any any nugget at all. What area was that? Uh, it's in Yuba City. Yuba City. Uh, it's Yuba, Yuba County, North, Northern California. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you thinking of going there? It, some gold? Yeah, and to, there are a lot of, um, uh, I would say, a lot of uh, very old olive trees grown from that area, as well as like Central California and South, Southern California because they, they love the, the, the uh, weather there. People mainly grow them for olive oil. The leaves of the olives are here. Underneath is kind of like silver, and on top it's green. Oh, that's not yeah. If you turn it upside down, like like this, you can see it's very. And in the wild, if you to, were to find this in the wild, the leaves could be as long as this. So when you put it in the pot, it dramatically reduces the the length of the. We have another interesting features here. We have some really nice hanging roots here. And throughout hanging roots here, this is a, there's a, right here, right here. So that's a bonus. Over time, this, this root right here, as you can see, this root is really big here. De detail view right here. So this make it add, it adds, um, a more positive feature to the tree. Oh, could I turn this a little roll? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you continue to to do on that side. Mm -hmm.
most of the um, the olives um, people have are usually from the nursery where they don't have um, the natural dead wood or they don't have the corkiness right here. The, the reason why this one didn't have the cork right here is supposed to be very corky because it was buried. It was buried up to here when it's, um, when I dug them. And once when it was buried, there's no, the, uh, the water or the soil takes away all the corky. It's only corky when, when the tree is ex exposed to the, uh, the sunlight. But hopefully within 20 years, it will be very corky. Hopefully I'm still around at that time <laughs> because I'm, I'm pretty old now. You're like 62, right? Yeah, 62. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how, do you, how did you know? I know because you're a culture retirement. <laughs> because I walk slow? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, that my secret is uh, through many years of plastic surgery. That no, I, I kind of cheated the w my way out. So sorry about that. <laughs> and always, always um, be happy. And one of the way to be happy is to get in touch with uh, bonsai. Mike, shoot away. Is that the its final pot, or what kind of pot you will eventually set it? Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't um, decided on which pot I'm gonna use this one, but this is not the final pot. Uh, even though it's a, it's a tokoname, but it's a, like a training pot for me, and I would like to get a custom-made pot, probably from um, Eric. Uh, Kavansky from Croatia. I really like his uh, the design. Very curvy, wavy, wavy pot. It's it's cement, but um, I think it will work out very well for this tree. Hopefully, when I repot this, and I will share the photos with uh, with you guys. When would that be? I don't know. Maybe two, three years. Hopefully not. Because that pot is very expensive. <laughs> I have to work many, many years for that. I want a pot that really complements this tree to enhance the, all the beauties all the, of these trees right here. And probably takes me a long time to pick out the right pot. Or I can, eat, I can grow it on... Um, um, lace lava rock that has a natural characteristic of uh, of nature. After I'm done, I will I will carve this on top the the tangent right here and sandblast it. Don't worry about defoliating. You will not kill the tree. I did fertilize this before beforehand, so it has all the energy that it needs to push out new shoots. And olives, they like they they like full sunlight, so you can leave it out in the full sun. They love it. If you were to leave it in the, the shade, the leaves will be very long, and that is that's not good. You, you see, when I cut right here, it, new buds will will come out like this, just like this. It's just a, just an example, right here. Can you see that in the zoom shot right here? Yeah. How much time do we have left? So, can you, st you start cutting and then I'll, I'll start wiring, okay? Sure. If you 
So rolling will continue defoliating, and then I will start the wiring process so you I could see how this tree will turn out to be. How is it going, guys? Austin Bonsai Society. You guys have any questions? What you think of uh, of olives so far for the people who don't have olives as bonsai? She's taking a, a break. <laughs> I can't hear them. Maybe. Yeah, just put it on there. Yeah, thank you. Do you defoliate before a repot as well? Uh, if you want smaller leaves, you have to defoliate twice a year. I, I would. But usually, I would defoliate uh, once a year. The, the, the defoliation will, will help you get smaller leaves and will also encourage um, new branches to grow from the, the buds. Yes, it will. This whole foliar mass will enhance the beauties of the dead wood. It, it will not take away the beauties of the dead wood. It, it, it will enhance it in, in such a way that um, when you look at it, you will, you will um, truly appreciate the, uh, the artistic. Um, I'm going to bend this down here. Oh, we're going to start. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Could you hold this down for me? This part? Yeah. It's a good thing that I only wire today because I have been c doing a lot of carving for olives and my hands pretty hurt. When you use a lot of, when you use power tools, your hands will shake. Yeah, okay, that's good, let go, let go, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you continue on to defoliate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on, sorry.
So let me tell you a little bit history of olives. Um, olive was brought to California by the Spaniards through the missionary route. Um, it was mainly grows like in places like um, missionary places such as Santa Barbara, um, Santa Cruz, Santa San Francisco, San Jose, all those um, missionary cities. So this, this olive is a European variety. European variety. Spanish variety, I rather. Yeah. The place where I got this right here, I got bit by the uh, mosquitoes like a billion times. Okay. It wasn't fun. Even though I use um, a lot of, um, um, what do you call it? Bug spray? Bug spray or mosquito spray or whatever. They still, they like, they like my scent. I don't know. <laughs> Especially when you work in the field and eat for many hours and you get so sweaty. Were you doing it by yourself or did you have any help? Uh, I, for this one, I did it all by myself. Mm. Yeah, it was, it wasn't fun. It was fun though. I, I did, I did sleep um, under the, uh, the, tr the, the tree several times. Yes, he's ready yet. It was fun. Back then I was uh, pretty young and very energetic. Um, I still have powers, but now I'm getting old and ready to pass on my knowledge to the next generation. Are you ready for questions again? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Can you turn on my mic? Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, so Mike had mentioned Regarding what Gloria was talking about, mm -hmm. bottom, uh, um, Mike mentioned that the suckers come out pretty strong. Yes, that's, um, that's uh, normal for for um, young olive tree. They they grow out suckers, but if that that suckers, if you don't need that, just pluck them out. Just pluck them out. You'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, Gloria mentioned that Terry does get rid of them. Yeah. Terry is another member of our. Love. Yeah, don't don't keep them. Just only keep the one that you truly need for to f to de develop branch ramification. Okay, and and Mike Barza has another question. Do you defoliate before a repot as well? Um, I that's um. Do I defoliate before repot? Yes. Um. No. I because once you do repot, you have to give them time to adjust. To uh, unless like uh, you know what I'm, you know what you're doing. Like for me, I do I do it uh, all at once. But if you don't have the experience, you should repot and let your trees adjust adjust to the the growth and get the new strength for development before you defoliate. That's the best way to to deal with it. Okay, I have another question from Zach. Would the future design be integrated with the deadwood? Or will the foliage mass be more separate or on its own? Yes. Um, well, the foliage mass will be this way, but I will intend to grow some towards, towards the, the dead wood. But in a way, it doesn't block the view. You still can enjoy the whole, the whole dead wood, but in a way that it, it doesn't block all the views. Okay, and um, Jay Nolan had asked, will the tree produce olives? Uh, will the tree produce olives? Uh, this one, if the thing is, 
yes, it will produce olives, fruit, but if you have to fertilize it correctly and do not prune during the, um, in California, yes, this tree has produced olives, um, but I don't know about here. I don't know if, if, if it's cold enough to um, produce flowers and eventually fruits because olive, it needs, a, in the winter time, it needs a um, couple months of cold for them to put out flowers in the springtime. And oh, during okay. the, if you want your olive to fruit, during the winter months, you don't cut anything, just let it grow. Okay, so no here, um, we don't have enough code. Uh, Gloria mentioned, um, can you please talk about the soil that you use? Uh, mainly I use um, Akadama, um, red, crushed red lava, and uh, coarse sand. Um, the reason why I use, use coarse sand is because uh, it's, it, it get heat, um, heated in the summer. And when, when the, the sunlight hits the, uh, the, the, um, heat the, um, the coarse sand, it stimulates more root, root growth for the uh, olive. Um, and she was asking if you are in Colorado, but you moved to Tennessee now, right? Yes, I, I tend to be nomadic. That's my way of life. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Roland couldn't keep track of my, uh, my movement on, my, on his GPS. <laughs> um, yes, I'm in, um, uh, right now I'm residing in Kentucky. And uh, at where I live, I just have to put it in, in the garage with uh, growth, uh, growth light in, during the winter months and they seem to be doing really well. And for here, unless you, have, you run into an ice storm here, you have to protect it um, during the winter months. Oh, that that like hurts. I heard it's like uh, <laughs> you guys got down all the way to how many? Six or five? That's, yeah, if you were to leave, leave the olives growing outside during that time of year, yes, it, you, you will, it will, um, you will probably kill them. <laughs> you said they were still alive, though. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's my, my best hope. That's, that's my, best, my best hope. Hopefully. Okay. I'm just uh, hopeful. But it's best to protect your olives, um, to keep it at uh, 35 and above. OK, how about but um, in, um, in Sac Sacramento, where I grew up, um, the, I left them outside all year round, and sometimes it get down to 25, and they seem to re respond very well. But it's 25 without ice? Without ice, yes. Okay. That's without ice. I don't think they like the ice. No, it doesn't look like they like it. Yeah. How about uh, frequency of watering? Uh, frequency of watering, uh, depends if you get a showing piece, you have to water twice a day. It really depends. Um, but if you, you, you get like, because um, they're like, uh, olives are like drought tolerant. Uh, I have seen people like, they live in an area where it's very, very windy and okay. it dry ups and it, it gets, uh, it really weakens the tree. Okay, um, and then Gloria asks, is, is your water alkaline? Uh, I. My water um, is pretty good because I use the water I test it there. It's pretty pretty good. Um, try to get away from water that has caused the um, the um, the line build up right here, the white whitish things. Okay, I wasn't. But um, I would say olives are very they're very strong. They're not picky when in term in terms of soil or any other things. Okay, so we as do have as, some uh, questions. You have very good. You have good drainage for them. You you will be fine. Okay. Um. I, we have some questions from YouTube. Um. Chris Furchett says I have a small olive, 
and while wiring, I have had several branches tear at the junction. Is that common with olive? It's not something that happens with other species. Uh, it tears. The reason why, I, I, because maybe you make a mistake on wiring. You shouldn't use the, the power um, of, the, of the branch to push down or to uh, get to wire to a place that you want. I think it has to do with more with uh, your, your style of wiring, your technique. I haven't had that, never experienced that kind type of problem. Okay, Brandon did reply with they need and some support. Uh, in this right here, I use, um, even I use copper wire. And um, it, I, I personally like to use copper wire on, on my olives because it holds it really well. And but you can you can wire it with uh, with aluminum. They would just do fine. Don't worry about it. How you doing, Roland? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's more clear. Does it look better to you to for for wiring? Yes. Good. Uh, so I'm gonna turn around. Sorry about that see the, the wiring that I have done so far right here even though I have two right two um, bifurcation right here but I'm just gonna leave it as in the meantime because when I have more you see more could you, could you zoom in right here more growth here I can really cut the bifur bifurcation right here It um, seems like a blank canvas at times with more freedom than other species where we are bound to specific forms. Yes, with olives, um, I tend to go over all the, all the style, different style from clump style to informal style to root over rock to even cascade style. So they, they, they do very well in all different style. It doesn't have necessarily to have to be like a specific, which is uh, st traditional, normal, normal, uh, formal or informal style. They works well as with ca cascade too, but you have to train that. You have to find a, a very decent piece of material for cascade, or you want to go with root over rock or sumo style. That would be really nice. What I really love is that you can cre truly create art with it. So a lot of times the deadwood looks like coral underwater yeah. or cliff sides or even little animals like my shohin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can really mix uh, with Im great imagination. Um, you can mix really good um, artistic, artistic uh, view. It could be in any types of landscape or animal forms. Well, it's Roland made a pig. Oh, a pig. <laughs> or a, <laughs> a howling pig on one side and or a wolf on the other. Or a wolf, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he created that from a f just a basically a flat cut. Uh, I don't know if you have seen his photos before, but it was just a basically a flat cut, and uh, he did a, a really great job with that. Yeah. I have another um, question from Chris. Do you notice when wiring or bending olive branches that they often, oh, no, no never mind. He asked that earlier oh. <laughs> in YouTube. Yeah, feel free to ask me any questions um, or if you want to like some advice, I'd be more than happy to help you with, uh, with it. And that's all we have for questions for right now. Yeah. Great run of questions, guys. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, guys. Like Keep rolling. it entertaining. <laughs> Keep it entertaining. Roland, are you done yet? No. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm halfway done. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is a big project. 
It takes a, a tremendous amount of time. Now, you're defoliating it because it's easier to wire when it's... Yes. I would say when you, wa when you first wire, you, you defoliate, but stay away from repotting unless you know what you're doing. Right, Roland? Yes. Do you know what you're doing? Or just a little bit? Just a little bit. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot. Okay. Could you kindly open this for me? Yes. I love that little underpass that it has. It's like a tunnel. Right here? Uh -huh. Oh, right here. It's a tunnel in a mountain. Yeah. Well, um, have you ever been to um, Ha Long Bay in Vietnam? Uh, Where you, you last week I was there in Ha Long Bay. And you didn't take me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> uh, well, I always dream of going to Halong Bay because um, I saw in the, I haven't been to Halong Bay, but I saw people uh, took the boat ride and they went underneath the, the um, what do you call it? The caves like, or? Oh, it's like, do you go in the cave or is it like a Yeah, hole? yeah, where it has some kind of hanging structure like this and you see trees growing on the, uh, the rocks or the mountains. Oh, okay. It's just so, Beautiful, uh, beautiful. You, how long did, were you in uh, Halong Bay? Or just one day? Uh, just for the weekend. Oh, you know, really? I just fly back and forth on my private plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Could I be your friend? <laughs> I thought we were already friends. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, my bucket to go bucket list. I put it on there. I have another question from Mike. He said, "What do you use to preserve the dead wood? Just lime sulfur or oh, wood lime, hardener?" Lime sulfur depends on on the the wood, the how solid it is. Is if it like rotten, then I would use preservative, wood preservative, uh, hardener to 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 preserve that wood. But for this tree, uh, I just gonna lime sulfur it because all the wood here are what percent solid rolling? Huh? What's that? All the wood here are very solid. Yeah? Yeah. Feels pretty solid. Can you make hardwood out of it? Hardwood floor? Oh, um, I don't know. I think Oh, I want to say no. Maybe. Would maybe. you wanna? <laughs> would you wanna keep it as for bonsai or? I think bonsai. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a good choice, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of doing bonsai, you have to smile and laugh a lot. Oh, I think um, I missed Mike's question. He asked, uh, tell us, he said, tell us your background. What got you into bonsai? Okay. What got me into bonsai? Okay. Um, I got into bonsai at a very early age. Um, I, was, um, I was at Janetown and I didn't know what bonsai was until I saw um, three Chinese elm grown in um, a very small um, Chinese pot, they, they didn't have Japanese pot back then. Um, and I was just, my heart was just struck by it. I, I just stood there and, and observed the movement, the beauty of the trees for a pretty long time. But at that time, I didn't have money to buy, to buy the, uh, the, the trees, of course. And, but that, w so that moment right there, it really caught me, and I, was, um, I asked the lady, could you tell me what type of tree this is? And she said, it's a an, it's an Chinese elm bonsai. And so from there, I just got so very fascinated with, uh, with, uh, with bonsai, and I did a lot of research on bonsai. And 
I follow, I would say, a couple master from um, including Harry Harrell um, from Southern California, amongst other um, well-known local, well-known master in California. They guided me. Uh, Gloria is asking, um, do you have earlier pictures of the tree? And if so, can you Oh, send the us earlier pics? picture? Yeah. Um, I, unfortunately, to be honest with you, I, I started taking photos of my, my, my trees on my work recently, just like less than three years. So sorry about that. I was like a, I was like a caveman back then. Um, yeah. So we'll start now. And, yeah. And follow its development. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think it's unique. I'm I'm starting to taking photos of all my 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 work right now. But if you look at his um, Instagram, it he has a lot of beautiful trees on his Instagram account. That's kind of how we all fell in love with his work. You know, because when you meet him in person, it's like, meh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a boring person, sorry. And I, I'm kind of mean, too, but. <laughs> What's your handle on uh, Instagram so they can find you on there? Uh, Satoyama81, S-A-T-O-Y-A-M-A-81. How are we doing with the time? I don't think we're going to make it, <laughs> but we it's try. We're doing good. Yeah, I hope you guys stick around till the very end. Don't go, don't go away on me. <laughs> don't go away mm -hmm. on me. Okay, okay um, I have some questions that I found on YouTube. Brandon is asking, what are your plans for extending the leading branch? The leading branch, the leading branch right here. I want it for this tree. I, I don't want it like to be out here. I just want it to be compact and get this ramified over time. It will fill up. I would say give it two, two, two more years and it will ram be ramified. Okay. I want like the view to be more concentrated toward geared towards the deadwood more, more than the um, the life, uh, the, f the foley mass, because to find a piece like this, as I would say it's very rare to come by. And uh, this happened to be uh, one of my, my best piece in, the, in my collection right now. And I'm loving it. Um, Chris is asking, are olives susceptible to certain pests or fungus? At times, he's noticed a white film on the olive leaves, which isn't on his other trees. White film. Uh, what, what area do you live in, may I ask? Um, you mean here in Austin or? Oh, the person? Yes, he's, this is all the members in our club. Oh, okay. Club. I thought, uh, okay. Um, do you do you expose it to the full sunlight or how how do you keep it your olives because with olives i have never encountered um any kind of pest they do have uh, the scale the brownish scale bugs that just clings onto the the branches but you can really you can you don't have to use pesticide for that and some tree you only probably get like five, six, that's it. And you, all you need to do is just um, pop it and then they will never grow back. But as far as like uh, pests, I, I haven't had encountered any problem with, with them. Yeah, I haven't had any problems with them here. Yeah, too. they're very, very good. Um, so. Full sun, okay. Oh. 
Uh, Gloria is asking, um, how long before this current wire needs to come off? I will keep it for, for, for one year. For, for one year. If you have a little bit, a bit of biting, it's okay. They, heal, they tend to heal back very quickly. So do you wait until it bites in a little and then you remove? Yes. Okay. Just a little bit, but you have to be very observant. You just can. Thank you for the copper wire, Summer. I'm so sad. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I use a lot? <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to hit up Gloria later. Okay. <laughs> We have more questions coming in. I can see Mike typing away. Um, Hello, Mike. He's going. He was uh, commenting on your singing oh, entertainment. Singing? Yeah, your singing entertainment. Oh. And they were also commenting on the... Uh, sorry, my, my kids are feeding the dogs over here. But they were commenting on your Instagram account, how gorgeous your native, or some of those native trees to hear are. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yep, nobody said anything about it sucking, so you're uh, in good shape here. Th thank you. Our club likes you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first compliment I have heard in like many years. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to cry tonight by myself. And if you were to miss water, olive for a day, sometime or two, depends on the, the amount of soil you have, they'll be fine. Because they're a uh, drought tolerant tree. Very hardy tr tree also too. I, when it reaches down to five degrees, I put, it, I put them in my garage and they seem to be fine, they do fine. This is, this is uh, one of them. Oh no, this is not, this is from here. I brought it here for a couple of years ago under the care of, of uh, a Brandon for this main purpose. So olives will do very well in Texas, in Houston, Dallas, etc. This is part of uh, the history that I'm working on here. The uh, owner of this tree, he happened to be um, a Marine, and he, re he passed away at the age of uh, 95, five years ago. So he, he said um, his, um, his dad grew this from a very young tree. Um, Gloria is asking, where will this tree live? In Kentucky or Colorado? Uh, this one? Uh, here in Texas, in my yard back here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you take care of it? It's a donation, you know, to the club. Oh, uh, donation? Yeah. I, I donated um, the, uh, I donated, um, what do you call it? The uh, parrot beak to the, uh, not to the, to the bonsai club, but. Yeah, that uh, doesn't te count. Texas, is it? Texas uh, bonsai exhibition. Yeah. So I think that counts because everyone gets to enjoy it. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Thank you. 
It's my pleasure. Um, yeah, Zach was like, this is up for raffle, right? Uh, um, when, I, when I go to sleep at night, and I, I have to dream about it. <laughs> we do have a tokoname pot for raffle. Yeah, tokoname. That's do yeah, I graciously to, donated by um, Vince. I wanted to raffle this out, but Roland said no. I had no choice but to obey his order. Yeah, Roland's so strict. Yeah. He just like bosses us around the whole time we're trying to set up. Mm -hmm. We're like, easy now, calm down. Yeah. Like, it's okay, Roland, don't have to yell at us. Sorry, guys, I just get stressed out. He's, He's the president. Yell, yell. Yeah, he was pulling his hair out and everything. I was getting all nervous. He's the president. <laughs> he gets to do whatever he wants. The, the pot was, was for the raffle or for the auction that we're having later? The tokenami, yeah, that's for raffle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think we set up the, the raffle. Um. I thought it was for auction, sorry. That would have been there already. Oh, wait. No, it's for a raffle. Could you cut out the... I asked for the tree this? for auction. Can you cut out? Get your own, get your own. <laughs> Cut out the aluminum only. Yeah, when you said a pot donation for raffle, I thought you meant like a pot from China. Oh, really? Yeah. Like but no, this is good. Antique pot or? <laughs> uh, we'll take a tokonami pot. Oh, okay. Oh, right here. You see the... Yeah, the parrot speak mic um, is going to uh, TTSB. This is the leaves right here. When you see this type of leaves, that means oh. old leaves. Bring it down a little lower. Yeah, there you go. Right here. This is the old leaves. Two, three years old leaves. Do I just touch? So it tend to turn this color. It's fine. When you see this color in your tree, that's that's a that's no. a sign of health. It's uh, don't worry about it. Was everybody able to see that leaf? Okay. And what were you mentioning? I, I kind of missed what you were saying when we were trying to get focus on you. When oh. is that color? What were what were oh, you? Oh, that's an old leaf, like two 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 to three years old. Oh, okay. So it tend to turn into that color when it's about time to go into a next phase. Um, Gloria's asking, uh, where do you consider the front? The front. Yes, that's a good question. I forgot to mention about that. Let me, oh, could you put this, light this on back on so it doesn't fall down. Okay. There you go. So, Right here is the front. Right here. See it now? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I can see. Delay, just oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the front when <laughs> <laughs> roll it in the way. Oh, oh sorry. Can you That's see okay. the front now? Um, yeah, you see up there. Oh, okay. So it's, um, there's a 15 second delay, so oh, okay. give it some time. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, Chris said he really likes the deadwood from that angle. Uh-huh. Um, and Mike says, is this tree going to have multiple apexes? Yes. Multiple. One right here. One 
uh, another one right here, and then this is the backdrop. And this is um, the back, back branches right here, where I'm putting my hand right here. And this oh, okay. is the, the apex, it's a tangent right here. I'm gonna keep all those dead wood up there and just carve out a little bit. Yeah, sorry, I wouldn't let him um, use his power tools in oh, my theater. That, that, <laughs> but that's, that's, that's theater. good because I would say it would take us till midnight to finish this tree if we were to carve. Yeah, it was the workshop we had uh, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. It took all day to get all the carving done. I think Roland was still not done with his. Yeah, right carving is very meticulous process. It takes a lot of time and it, it hurts your hand at the end of the day. So you gotta build up that muscle strength. Yeah, you have to basically go to a gym for three months in preparation for, for this type of project. It's not uh, easy. For this workshop, um, Vince did bring in all of the tools for people to use, including a sandblaster. Yeah. That was cool. It was, a f was it the first time that you like use a sandblaster? Yep, I never even heard of the technique before we talked about it. Oh, yeah. really? No. Oh, so could you put a plaque on the Austin Bonsai Society saying that? <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah, of course. No problem. Uh, um, Mike said we can do a bonsai slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. Or just have Roland do all the labor. Yeah. <laughs> Now Roland will master the, the arts of bonsai and carving pretty soon. <laughs> and he will demonstrate to you guys. And <laughs> Brandon too. Yeah, Brandon. When uh -huh. Brandon was learning, I was like, hurry up and make sure you learn how to do this good, Brandon, so I can pay you to do my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> hurry up. Well, it just it didn't seem like some... Once the par tool started, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind scraping a little, but I'm just not a fan But you got myself. beautiful pictures for us. Yes. So that's cool. So basically, you're saying you're not a Kimura fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like using the par tools. It's a guy thing, I guess? Yeah. The reason why I use um, par tool is because I went to uh, a lot of bonsai show, and I see I see a lot of people they they carve it in a, such a way where um, you can see the carving marks on there, and it takes away the beauties of the trees. So I I really concentrate on putting my time and effort into finding the right tools, the right bit um, to carve. But carving is not for everyone. So. Yeah, I probably change my tune when I try to like manually. But did you buy the, the Dremel, stuff? right? I mean, not the Dremel, but the uh, die grinder. I have. Did you did you buy one? No, I got. No, I didn't. Oh, OK. I think I was trying to remember what I have, but I have obviously never used it and <laughs> yeah it's best not to <laughs> i don't want to play with it anymore yeah oh can I you like continue the, defoliating the flaming and burning though yeah oh um that's fun i think mike is still typing for more questions huh? yeah just up here like all the way like the inner you got it. in the leaves yeah Okay, let's let's grow out here. S sorry, guys. This is a you can enjoy the f this view in the meantime where I work on on this. 
and after when I'm done I can show you the uh, result Olive is uh, very flexible so you can do really severe bend on this this type of tree even on old branches old branches uh, old branches you have to guide wire there's some some that I guide wire here I'll take this out right here this right here this right here this right there yeah uh, Mike wants more information about the jeans that you're wearing Roland if there are 501s there are 501s that's right Is <laughs> <laughs> it good on me Oh, let me let me get. Oh, let me get. Yeah, let me get. Oh, now oh. I understand the comment about Conan's pizza. It's because you're wearing their shirt. <laughs> One more. One more here. Yeah, right there. Boom. Boom. Yep. Okay. All right. Was that it? Yes. Okay. Five hundred ones. Yeah. How's it look, guys? Yeah. Earlier they were commenting on. Uh, the Conan's pizza. Oh yep. man, it's so good. Love Conan's. So good you bought the shirt. Shout out to Conan's. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pizza party one day when we are back to normal. I know, I was getting hungry and I was thinking about pizza <laughs> while I was looking at your shirt. Have you been there? No, oh. not yet. Welcome. I go to, for my pizza, I go to Home Slice. Ooh, yeah, they're good too. Do you like pizza, Vincent? Yes, I, I like pizza. But only vegetarian pizza? Uh, yes, like oven brick, brick oven pizza. Ooh, those are, those are so amazing. Mm -hmm. I hope you agree. Yeah. Freshly baked. Tell me if I'm doing a bad job, you guys. So I can, I can take off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing pretty good. Are you just adding the wire first, and then we're going to talk about design? Yeah. And specifics. Okay. Well, if uh, we can go over the design later on, in in details, because it was hard to. Um, like, I thought it, w it wasn't, um, it was hard to go over the the design when, in details, mm -hmm. when it was, uh, it has a, the foliar mass on it. So after we defoliate and so we can see the structures better and w I will go over in details of the development. that you're giving them for this European olive? Can mm -hmm. it be applied to a lot of other olives? Or yeah, not necessarily? on other oli olives, uh, you still use the same application, okay. a method, yeah. There are like uh, so many, hundreds of varieties in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, but this one is, uh, I got this one, the owner said it was uh, Silvilano, which is uh, like the small leaf variety, a sp Spani Spanish variety. Uh, that one is small leaf? Smaller than the Shohin? Uh, no, this, that's Olester. That's oh, okay, a okay. Olea Europe Europe Europea Var Silvestris. So this is just a com basically a common. Okay. Uh, this is var variety is Silvilano. Okay. Yeah, that r that small leaves, the round leaves. That's only variety that has uh, round leaves. The Silvestris. I see. Okay. Yeah. And. But some of your oleas are have the bigger leaves. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, okay. that's the um, 
That's the, the common olives again. Probably, m most likely, manzanilla. Is it? Uh, Glorian is asking, must you have, must you always have a terminal bud or leaf to get bud back? The leaf? Yes, um, right here? Uh-huh. Yes. Um, but sometimes, sometimes when you wire it and it right here, for example, there's no terminal leaf right here, but there's a, a bud, it will come out. Okay. Sometimes you, when you wire it you, um, unmindfully, you just go over it and you break it and there's no way that you will get that back. Yeah, you cut my oleas pretty aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, there's only one leaf left. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I mean, if you cut the whole things, yes, it will go back. I mean, if you were to defoliate the whole thing, okay. like even to the, the, the terminal right here, yeah. it, will, it will grow back. Okay. It's not like, um, um, like a pine, like a Japanese black pine or anything like that, where if you were to, uh, if you were to cut it all out, then it will, won't grow back. So when you prune... Um, it'll... Oh wait, can you, um, I just noticed something. What is it? Ah, uh, never mind, you're wiring over there. I was going to say, can you turn the tree so that oh, everyone yeah. can see more of your work that you're doing, but once you're done with that yeah, sorry. side. So how, m how much more private study time do you have left? Private time? Private time. You, do you have any more scheduled with the club? Uh, well, no, 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 no. Uh, I have to, after this, I'll go to Colorado, but they're, they're my best friend. So, and they're, they can, um, I can like change the schedule if needed. So are you still accepting um, private study time for here for our members? Sure. Okay. It's, well, it depends. Yeah, if anyone needs uh, private study time with Vince, let us know. Rolling. Before he leaves. Yes, sir. You want to sign up for another five days? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> let me go play the lottery first. <laughs> Yeah, I had him work in my garden uh, for one full day, and I just set up all of the <laughs> ones I wanted to be worked on, so it worked out pretty well. Did you see I cut your crepe myrtle back there? I, I know. I was, what that one is fine because I don't, it was my oleas <laughs> when you were cutting, I was like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, uh, it's but for, I really like that branch. <laughs> I know, but it's for the betterment of uh, the, fut the yeah. future. Um, so. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I bought a whole bunch of, uh, I got a whole bunch of oleas from Vince, and he was aggressively cutting branches, and some of those branches, like, I fell in love with, yeah. and, like, thought, like, maybe one day mm -hmm. it, would <laughs> it would become something, and he was like, nope. <laughs> you, you can root these too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, right here, this one right here. I cannot wire this, let it grow out a little bit. If I were to wire it, I might damage this and I won't get that, that branching back right here. So let it grow th that much, like two inches before you, you wire the, the secondary branching. When you prune the layers, do you have to worry about dieback? Uh, no, I would, um, I would always, uh, the safest practice, um, to always sanitize your tools and to always put a cutting paste afterward. Here, I'm not putting it because uh, 
due to, due to the time limitation, but I will do that later. Roland will help me. Right, Roland? Oh, yeah. Or Anytime. So Thanks. even the tiny, tiny branches. Yes, it's best to, to stop the, the dieback from there. And then it's just put a cutting paste on there. It's, it's good for your trees. It doesn't hurt. It's a good practice for all your trees, basically. Yeah, he used the, the one that's in the bottle the that looks like toothpaste. Yeah, toothpaste. Instead of, he rejected my, uh, my pasty one that you got to lick your fingers first. Yeah, to that, work into that, it. that one, I yeah, usually for, for pine they, more because they, 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 they stop the flow of the sap. He also refused to lick his finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something I want to do. <laughs> It doesn't look healthy. That's how my bonsai master does it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing I'm not a bonsai sensei. <laughs> I'm just a bon I'm just a... Um, the bonsai monk? Uh, yeah, bonsai enthusiast, bonsai... Uh, I'm just enjoying bonsai, uh, you, we would say. Yeah. Keep the questions going, guys, or comments. Looking good. Looking good? Oh, cool. thank you. Looks like the wire is kind of uh, yeah, I more usually, questions. I usually wire really slow to enjoy, but for the demo, we gotta for demo, I have to be pretend to be fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon is asking, what do you do after you style the tree? After? Um, after I, I, I would put right right away because I don't repot this I'll put right away in the full sun since I fertilize this already I don't have to fertilize it let it grow now if you didn't fertilize it would you still fertilize it right after yes with liquid so they get like the the instant uh, fertilizer right away so like for the the fish yes fish okay. that will fish emulsion that would be fine Okay, so that's what you're referring to as fertilizer, not the chemical fertilizer, right? Or yeah, organic okay. is good. I, w I would use organic. How are you doing, Rulan? Ru Ru Ruan? You doing good there? Yeah, just keep on cutting. Keep cutting? Yeah, pretend. Just pretend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your mic? I'll do real quick. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I missed some. I see some. There's some more. And I dug this during the hot summer months. It was uh, around August and September. And when I dug this, I brought it home and all my family member came out. They were laughing at me. They say, if this tree will survive, I'll give you a whole bunch of money. They, they did, like they say, I can't say how much. <laughs> 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 but later on, um, I didn't see any money. After the, the tree survived, I didn't see any money. Okay, you get to keep it now. Was yeah. it in like red dirt? Yes, it oh, was okay. in the kind of like red red clay. It was very hard. And I, I dug it with uh, just the axe and shovels. And most of the time I ran into big rocks, big chunks of rocks. So you manually dug it out. How yes. long did it take you? Oh, the full day just to dig out like one tree. Yeah. Oh gosh. That's a lot of work. Yeah. 
but it was it was fun because I, I I didn't have a girlfriend or anything like that would bug me. I think that's <laughs> that would, that's when the, are you coming home? That's the best part. <laughs> um, Can you please pick up milk on the way home? Yeah. <laughs> Who would want to go dig with me in the future? Anyone from the club? Sign me up. Well, after you said that, <laughs> not me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Digging is very, it takes a lot of hard work. I, I had a herniate, herniated disc uh, doing it with, uh, with red, redwoods and I sh I'm still feeling the effect of it until till today. Ooh, it's to not good. Good care of my back. That's what my doctor said, but I, I tend not to listen. <laughs> <laughs> so you have more trees to dig? <laughs> yeah. I, I, do that. I said, he asked me, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing for work? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> watering. Uh, nothing, nothing new. <laughs> nothing new. Did you go dig? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Why would I? <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lot of lot of members in this club went on to dig. Oh yeah. Digging we trips. We love to dig. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like what kind of trees? Trees? Did you? Cedar elm is a is a big one. Uh huh. Um, Chinese tallows. Chinese tallows. Uh, Japanese boxwoods. There's a lot of people that get rid of really old shrubs in the yard here. Chinese tallows? Uh, no, um, Japanese back. No, Japanese I mean, boxwood. you say Chinese tallows. Oh, yeah, Summer said Chinese tallows. That is the, the name of the tree, right? Chi Chinese tallows? But is that native, though? Or is invasive? I think it's invasive. Oh, because I, I believe so. Well, because <laughs> it says it's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Are really pretty. Have you, have you, have you, do you know of those? N no, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it. The colors in the farm. Oh, beautiful. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine finally, it, um. Is it deciduous? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Chinese tiles. I only have one in my yard. Yeah. Mike, Mike has some really, really nice ones. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mike? How come Mike didn't, didn't. Didn't bring one? No, he didn't br invite me over for his. Oh, what don't happened, know. Mike? I don't know what his problem is. Huh? He's kind of inclusive. <laughs> inclusive? Like, you got to be with the cool crowd. Oh, yeah. To go <laughs> hang out at Mike's, you know? Yeah, yeah. I he has a studio and stuff, so. He does have a studio? Uh, yeah, he does have a workspace. Oh. So we call it the Bonsai Shack. Yeah, oh, okay. Bonsai Shack. So awesome. That's what... He has a TV set up there and everything. Hmm. And like there's, it could sit six people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He'll correct us if we're wrong. Got AC in there for the summer. Yep. Mm. He's got it all hooked up. <laughs> oh, Mike is asking if he can send Roland for his dig. <laughs> Too late, Mike. I'm going to send him for... For me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Joey said, uh, absolutely, who wouldn't want to dig? <laughs> Plus, it's always more fun with friends. Yep. Yeah, I'll come to take pictures, and then I'll meet you guys after. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joey. Gloria is saying or uh, asking where in California was this tree dug? Um, specific place? Yeah, she wants the exact GPS coordinate. No. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I forgot the exact GPS coordinate, but I can tell you it's uh, from a city nearby Corning. Corn, Corning. Corning or the Corning, like corn and a ning. Corning. Corning. The city is called Corning? Yes. Okay. That's where all, all the massive trees are. Oh, so anybody can go there and dig? Oh, no. Oh, okay. 
You got a ninja jump a fence and, and all oh, that? Oh, no. You have to know the people there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to ask for permission. Oh, yes. Um, but I don't think Texan would want to drive all the way there. Oh, you haven't met the, the rest of the Bonsai Club members. Huh? <laughs> Everyone's pretty crazy here. Oh, really? Uh, huh. Bonsai crazy. Oh, okay. So Brandon is asking, what is the best suited container for the tree? Uh, I would go with, uh, um, earlier I thought of going with, um, with the Eric um, Pra something. He's from Croatia. I would say I've seen like a pot that he made, pretty small, smaller size of it, and it's pretty expensive. Um, Mike said you're welcome to come by anytime after you prove yourself, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> as as a friend. You have to go through the initiation. Oh. Yeah. The. Uh, <laughs> ABS in initiation, mm -hmm. where I, I have to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's not part of it, right? No. Okay, that's good. Um, you're, you're good. Because I don't drink. You don't have to drink. Only water. Oh, sorry. The <laughs> Brandon's question earlier, I forgot what it was already. Oh, the pot. The container. Yeah. The container. Yes. Um, can you re-answer the question about um, the container? Because the audio cut out for a little bit there. Okay. So the container, uh, I probably use a custom-made pot from Eric. Uh, his first name is Eric. He's from Croatia. And it has like wavy forms, like a couple waves like this. It's a cement uh, pot, but it looks it will look very nice with complement with this tree right here. So I have to work with him on the design and how I wanted it. Awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, I guess that's the, the rest of it. Mike is just saying he's drunk on food. <laughs> okay. We got it. Oh, okay. Okay. This one right here. Just in the meantime, yeah. Right here, can you cut off the wire here? Right here, oh. and then I start w working my way up right here. Working. Right here, yeah. maybe you go over there. Okay. And then. Is everything okay? Okay. Oh, can you use this is some stuff right here? Yeah, can you use yours? I'd like to use some small ones. Oh, okay. No problem. Just the aluminum, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, just the aluminum. Okay, start pulling away, everyone. Okay. Okay. Thank uh, you. And you can turn it like okay. a, Yeah. Yes. So people can work. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Uh, Gloria was asking, um, what's the club rate for your private... Oh, Your private, am uh, I allowed to say it on the air? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just the, unless it's going to be cheaper than what you charge me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Um, um, you can do a special if you want. You can run a special if you want. Okay. Well, the rate for if I were to do um, to do the, the carving here for this time alone, the carving and sandblasting would be for the whole day be um, 800. But if um, without the without the uh, the carving and sandblasting, it'd be four fifty for the whole day to work on trees. Yes, for and are you just working on you're you're gonna work on whatever trees they put out? Yes. Okay. So whole day four fifty. That's without without the sandblasting. 
without carving because it takes a sandblasting and carving it takes a lot of a lot of tools and bits very hard work right Roland is it hard or easy carving oh man it's, it's, it's hard work but <laughs> it, it's fun did it break your back no because luckily summer benches were were tall so oh, okay. that was good <laughs> Did you have fun that day? Oh, yeah. Oh. I want to carve more trees like, already. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I don't have much to carve on, so. There's a lot of trees at um, Brandon Place. You can oh, that's true. You, you can go there and walk. You, ask, you have to ask him what time he sleeps. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. I never thought of that. Uh-huh. I'm going to try that. I'm trying to get this wire. <laughs> he told me, I told Brandon, what ask him what time he sleep, but he told me he never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think he's lying. <laughs> I don't know if Brandon sleeps. I think he's like a android. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. I've you can, yeah. I've never seen him actually tired too. Oh really? Yeah, like just we work, went work, on a work? dig with him, and oh. he was doing these like ninja style moves oh. during the dig. <laughs> it's pretty impressive, and he was carrying all these heavy trees and he's so nimble right i know yeah and then after that he was like still ready to go for like he would <laughs> didn't even look tired <laughs> yeah that was me like 20 years ago but not no more that's okay i just leave right. it like that it's just right thanks for asking of course. do you want to um probably do uh you want to pause for a bit and then talk about the design okay. or what you're sure. working towards? All right. Let me let me get this one first. Okay. Because I ready. <coughs> now that Roland's out of the way. No. <laughs> Roland is a big help today. I truly appreciate his uh, help today. Oh, yeah. And uh, Ruwan yeah. for doing all the technological. Work. Shout out to Ruan. Yes, he's the MVP. He yeah. is ABS he, MVP. He's the silent MVP. 2020, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think guys. We should make that a new thing. Like every year, there should be an MVP. You see how it's coming along right now? So this will be the, f the apex here. I'm just going to have to wire it down. This secondary, and this is the the back right here, but I want to bring it down a little bit more with a guy wire. Um, right now, we don't have something to guy wire this one unless I have to drill it here, but I'll do that later. Okay, but I see a rhino. A rhino? This one. Yeah, because oh. the top, if you gin the top, yeah, then that's going to be like a horn. Yeah? Yeah, and it's got like a so thick snout. Basically, it goes <laughs> in a triangle like this right here, outward. That's the ears? Yeah. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Yeah. Cooler than a pig. <laughs> <laughs> well, yours is double. It was like a howling pig, and then it was on the other side, it's a howling wolf. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. I'm impressed. Probably take me like 30 more minutes, and that's just the overall. But I have to do more wiring like later on. Um, I don't think I'll have enough time. Yeah, guys, go ahead and um, post any questions you have or. Um, uh, or any comments on the design and so on like if yeah. you feel free to blast you, me you guys it's yeah, okay if you feel like he's he's not on the right track here yeah please comment feel free to challenge him oh huh? all right thank you does everybody see the rhino or do you see like another shape that's one thing I love about Alea's is like you see so many different shapes in it. Oh, the face in the wood. I forgot. Yeah, there's a there's a word for it. If anybody remembers, please post here. Um, there, Ro Roland was just mentioning Bjorn um, has a specific term in Japanese. Of when you see a face in a tree. A face? But I'm always seeing faces. Oh, no. 
Yeah, you should check out Brandon's um, pomegranate that he, he uh, was it a pomegranate? No, persimmons. Yes, it was a persimmon. The persimmons he dug out, it had several ghostly faces. Brandon, yeah, Brandon's posting in YouTube, so Ruin's watching that, and then I have the Slack open here for the other questions. You know, Brandon, he's he's writing his own. He's going against the grain, but it's okay. We'll work with you. <laughs> oh, can oh the pot yeah. maker. I can't pronounce his name. Something ski, Kaw Kawangski or something. Mokokimi. Mokokomi. 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 The term for seeing the faces. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, if you look through his or uh, Vince's Instagram, it's like you can see all the trees and kind of. Some of them just look like coral you, you would see when you go diving. It's all pretty awesome. I mean, a lot of the trees are at, at what Mike Garza said earlier. A lot of Vince's trees are in Brandon's garden right now. I would say not oh, a lot. Oh, and my garden. I would say that's a few <laughs> compared to what I have at yeah, home. It's just a, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Well, actually, what was interesting was when I, I had one auction on the Facebook auction group, and it was from Vince, and I was commenting on Olea's that I was drooling over while I was at Bjorn's nursery. And he, Vince immediately messaged me back and was like, how did you know my Olea's are in Bjorn's garden? <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's kind of how we made that connection. I was like, oh, we can be friends now. <laughs> You're not just some random guy on the internet that sold me a tree. <laughs> we are now family. It's a small world. Yeah, it is a really small world. So I have um, also some other trees that he, he um, what did you do, consolidated through Bjorn? Or it's at Bjorn's nursery. Uh, but yeah. I forget which one was I got from you. That's it. Two, no. two olives. Three. No, no I, I got the olives directly from you, but from Bjorn's nursery, I got the... I can't think of the species right now. You worked on it yesterday. What is it? Oh, uh, the Chinese quince. Yeah, the Chinese quince. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I got a cute little shohin from there, and it turned out to be Vince's tree. Do you like that? The, the, the quince? Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there was like several others that were like way bigger than I wanted to. <laughs> but I did want to go shohin with them, so. You're going to be a shohin master pretty soon. With yeah, shohin's my thing. With your I like the trees I can carry. <laughs> <laughs> the two men, two men carry is meh. But showing is, um, it's very hard because the watering, you have to be very careful. Once you miss water, it could be very detrimental. <laughs> So like, yeah, it goes back to the question that um, someone had earlier about how often you water. Oh so yeah, it's, frequency of water. It's, it depends on the, your pot and where you put them and the time of the year. So in the spring, you're more likely to water less than in the, in the summer. I remember you said earlier um, they do they 
do do fine in drier soil, right? Yes. The olives, they love f really good drainage. And the reason why I use um, coarse sand, because of that too, provide good, good drainage. And then red lava, it provides drainage too, and it holds a little bit of water. But if you don't have like uh, you don't have uh, crushed red lava, you can also you can use Japanese pumice. That's pretty good too. It's very expensive. You want to model the pot? You have to do it like like yeah. a Vanna White style. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. What camera can we see? Um, this one is yeah. fine. You can do it on that side. Uh, right. Actually, more on this side. Yeah, there you go. And forward a little. There you go. You see it on the detail cam too? Um, no. Oh, okay. Ooh. Place a bit, you guys. Now I know, like Simon taught me, is always look in the bottom of the pot to see. Is there a, a mark? A stamp on off? there? Mm -hmm. No, that's no stamp. Just a number. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It's a number. But some, it has stamped. Very beautiful. So that is the pot that we have for raffle. Um, how's did, how did uh, Roland do? Let me know if you were able to take a good look at the pot. Or you can put it up to the... Okay, my uh, mic cut out is what Jared said. Or maybe... Okay, can you guys hear me now? Okay, cool. So that is the pot that was donated for raffle. Okay. Right here. No, let him do. No, I thought we're supposed to have Oh, okay. Oh, yes. It's Slack, though, Brandon. You got to post your questions in Slack. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I thought I didn't realize that the YouTube chat would come up for it. There's, there's some more right here. If you could cut the. Defoliate, just get it like really good. Okay. You you can, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think Simon didn't get in because he thought it was a Zoom. So give me a second, guys, to get that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. okay. Wait. <coughs> oh, I love this copper wire. Thanks goodness. I think this is uh, Adam's bikini, maybe. Yeah. No, I mean, today for. Oh, you mean like you're glad it wasn't <laughs> aluminum? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be suffering. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. What is that? For, he says he's so happy he's be using copper instead of aluminum for today. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, because this is like all oh, this. I'm glad. I'm glad it's going to use now. <laughs> You've been sitting there for. Inside and prying. For many years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought it. Actually, a year ago. Oh, yeah? So it's been a year. Oh, okay. Well, I bought it, yeah. It was supposed to go on trees this year, but yeah, I missed it. I left Texas, and everything was still, like, kind of recovering from the ice storm and came back, and my whole, whole garden was green. <laughs> and so I was afraid to wire with the delicate buds popping out. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, you're fine. Okay. You're fine, you're fine. Oh. 
How long more do you think it'll take for the... Oh, you're almost done. You're at the top. Yeah, okay. I'm almost at the top. But I, I do skip some part. I apologize for that. But I will go over again when I have time. That's when I'm off. Because <laughs> I like to be... Uh, to get it, like, to set it, like, in a perfect position. Right, Roland? Yes. Perfection. That's beautiful. Yeah. Are you guys tired from watching? You want Roland to sing a song? <laughs> He's a g good singer. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to like do a quick like give us some bars like <laughs> a little bit of rap. Oh man. Go for it, Roland. Oh, Entertain. Just freestyle it. No, no pressure. I don't think they'll like me anymore if I do that. <laughs> it's gonna boo me off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any flow. <laughs> You don't have any musical talents, just like me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not. No, I don't have much mu much uh, musical talent. Oh. Uh. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me get a picture of that. It's looking awesome, sir. Yeah, it takes time. This is like a. I would say don't worry, I don't have your three to four hours work, but wow. I'm just brushing it <laughs> ready. I'm just kind of brushing it. <laughs> but I want people to see um, kind of like the idea of like the design, mm -hmm. you know, have the idea of it before they go to bed. <laughs> so they're going to have <laughs> sweet dreams? Yeah. Sweet all your dreams. Yeah. All right. Cut this and this will. Okay, there are some comments to how to um, participate in the raffle. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and post a link for it. I'm going to blame Roland for this. It's yes, but it's okay. You can, so sorry. I just took a picture of it. Right here. See that when it bends down? Oh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to make a new item in the auction channel. And then you guys can add how many tickets you want. Give me a second to get this done. You're gonna put your name under, Rolly? Where? Oh, in, the, in the auction? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you win. Right? You never know. <laughs> 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 Alright, Rolly, you have to do the You can work on the bottom you like. This is yeah. So they can see. They can have a... To the top? Yeah. Like Good. more closely with the movement on the branch replacement and everything like that. How many inches? How many inches? Yeah. Uh, about 12. 12? Yeah. It's a dragon pot. Have you ever seen this pot before? No. Well, I guess. You did? <laughs> Where? In, it's like a, isn't it the training pot? No, it's a, training pot? I would say this is training. Oh, okay. It's a. Oh, that pot that. Yeah. They, they, um, they discontinue with this pot.
Yeah. Oh, you mean the, the, the auction? Yeah, I was talking about the auction. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a, I would say a training pot, yeah. You wouldn't want to put like a, just a, they mass, they mass pro produce that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are so cheap. What do you mean you have a, what did I Sorry. Five dollars, guys. $5? For the club. Mm -hmm. It's for the club. It's not for, for rolling. Rolling would be ten dollars. Ten dollars for me. You can never have too many pots, right, Vincent? Uh, yeah. What do you think so far? I think it was lovely. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Are you being honest? Yes. <laughs> so my mic is course. still alive, right? My mic is still alive? Oh, no, no. I just want to make sure. All right, new mic. So, uh, Mike, sorry. I just changed my mic. <laughs> 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 um, I go into the auction channel on Slack and then post how many tickets you want for the Tokonami training pot. 12 inches. You can use that as a pot, but it doesn't have to be training. People, I've seen people use it. In Bonza show with almost done, guys. Bear in there. Almost there. Bear, bear, bear with me. Well, that's the nice thing about doing it virtually is if you go over, you don't get kicked out of the. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the venue. Yeah. Oh. Get out of here! It's nine o'clock now. Yeah. yeah. Everybody out. Yep. Now, hopefully by June we can start doing it live, but we're probably going to. We may need a new venue. Yeah. But we did talk to the artist, and he would like to do it live. We have um, Mike Lane coming in June, so. It's fun to see people smiles. And I can only fit eight people in this venue. <laughs> <laughs> Almost done. What a transformation. Hmm? What a transformation. Is it? Mm -hmm. So far we have five tickets yeah. that Brandon's buying. We have um, Mike, he bought two tickets. Jarrett bought five tickets. Mm -hmm. Man. Ooh 
Ooh. Almost done. We almost get to the top. Almost there. Yeah. It's a good thing that we defoliate. So we can see, have a better view of what's going on. Okay, so do you want to tell them, I don't know, what? Um, about those tumor things? What are they called? Cankers? Oh, uh, cankers? Yeah. Um, that one, it's a. Uh, well, if for usually for old trees, they they have uh, sometimes they have that, so the best way to take care of it it's uh, to use the uh, knob cutter or concave cutter, cut it out, and I would I would uh, I would try to sanitize it. Using my method, it's just a blow torch, um, and each cut I would just uh, sanitize it over, over again. And I also use um, palm olive to use the Q-tips and and paste on them like toothpaste. Leave it there for overnight, and that will take care of the problem. If you don't, it'll keep spreading throughout the tree. Yeah. Um, Daryl put cold beer outside our door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he didn't want to interrupt the... But Roland doesn't filming. drink. Who told you that? Huh? He's, uh, he, he's taking the five precept. <laughs> 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 Is it okay to say that here? <laughs> <laughs> Rolling, rolling, come on. I know. So, sorry, I have to face this way to wire this side here. So you don't get to see the full view. Do you drink summer? Um, I drink scotch. Scotch? I don't do beer. What well, is scotch? Scotch? Uh huh. And it's like a whiskey. Oh, whiskey. Yeah, but it's made in Scotland. <laughs> um, do you guys want a beer? I'll have one. Okay. I'll, go okay. Go. I'll be the barmaid. Barmaid. <laughs> <laughs> A fat tire or mm. hopadilla? Ooh, I'll take a hopadilla? There's only one, so you left out. <laughs> Ruan, do you want one? So now we get Vince drunk and see how well he uh, <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. That tree. <laughs> Usually I don't do well <laughs> when I'm drunk. Do you turn all red? I get red. <laughs> But I have never drank before, so. <laughs> you can cut these little tiny leaves. Oh, or no. Not so much. Just the big guys. Yeah, just. Oh. Okay. You don't have to cut the, the. Uh, outer leaves okay. Gloria um, sends her thanks for the donated pot my pleasure she's our um, treasure treasure yep she's the one who cuts you the check oh. <laughs> yeah oh, okay <laughs> could, could you tell her to add like a couple more zero because I know <laughs> zero doesn't make any difference then you're gonna get on Gloria's bad side <laughs> You don't want to do that. Sorry, Gloria. I, I was just, <laughs> I was just make, trying to make you laugh. <laughs> we're, we're just like a family here, so excuse me. There's no, hopefully there's no more misunderstanding.
All right. Can I see it now? Okay. I have to. Maybe I want to go over there and then. Okay. So they can see it over there. So I have to turn it. Wow, this seems like a big transition. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a better angle for me to work with. What do you guys think of the tree? Can you bring the wire over here? Just bring it over and set it, it. just in case I don't have to go back and forth. Got a good piece of it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Am I blocking the view? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Just keep on cutting. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were want. you switching mm -hmm. to that camera when um, Roland was showing his butt to the camera? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you let them yeah. observe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sure. Can you put the label in it? Roland sporting his uh, breathable vans <laughs> as well, just in case you guys were curious. <laughs> Gotta stay comfortable. It's his summer wear. His summer wear. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a lot of wiring, guys. <laughs> but it's fun. You make it look easy. No. I pretended to do things, you know, pretend to do things, make it, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's just all about pre pretending. <laughs> Nothing. So Zach just put in five tickets for the pot. All right, Zach. Who can beat that? Mike, feel free, you know, you can get, you know, more tickets. Make it <laughs> ten. <laughs> It'll be so funny if he, he wins it with two tickets, though. <laughs> <laughs> Allergy? Yeah, sometimes my eyes just start burning. I don't know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did okay. the um, Olea just like give you a puff of pollen? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm just crying because it's just so beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, I was standing away from the sandblaster, but I still like got a little. Oh, really? That. Yeah, I, mm. it was like on my camera. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I'm seriously putting well, sand on my lens. That's why you moved away. And, like, you go? and how you, you, you how do you wipe that away? Oh, I just gotta use a blower. But I was actually thinking of taking it to um, get professionally cleaned. Oh yeah? Yeah, because I had it in uh when you guys were using the power tools. Uh-huh. I got some serious nice shots of like the sawdust like flying off oh when brandon and uh roland were working on their trees oh, i can't wait to see those making me look cool mm -hmm. for once <laughs> I, never I never look cool never no you're already cool everybody's like commenting on your um your even ones your i wear so yeah. oh, okay yeah. e even your your wife didn't say that no, she thinks I'm super not cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's tuning in right now. <laughs> Rolling. No, she's not, she's not tuning in. <laughs> you, you don't know. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing I know. <laughs> <laughs> she thought I was cool when she first met me. Uh. And she got over that real quick. Uh. You're not that cool. Oh. She shut you down. Yep. 
Um, Mike is saying that the tree is looking amazing. Oh. So he is happy with your work. Thank you, Mike. So I far. appreciate that. K keep that, keep that um, positive, positive comment going. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not we need tired. Some drama. We need people to start off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's not like reality TV unless you have like somebody. Yeah. Just you know, like the troll comments or something. Right. <laughs> like the Kardashian. The Kardashian. Like everything you say, like they say opposite of yeah. what you say. You said you named your great trees. Do you have a name for this tree? Um, I haven't named it yet. I, I I'll take time to meditate upon it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. I think this one got. So, yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to, let me see, we're going to settle it for today. I think that's good. So, I mean, there's, there's, there are still some wiring to do, but that takes uh, a lot more time. And I think we are out of our time limits. So this is the, can you see the whole front? Zoom out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's the, just that 15 seconds. Okay. So you just so this is the. This is the whole new front here, right here. And all when, when this tree is, d is done with the uh, um, secondary, tertiary, we have secondary branching here, tertiary, quadriary, it'll be a very nice tree with, um, with the dead wood and then all the foliar mask on this side. And it's kind of like blending in with the Redwood, uh, they would too. So that's. So you're gonna gin like the um, there, and then how about there, a little to the left on the bottom, those. Uh, right here. The no, a little bit higher, that other apex. Right here. Uh no, look up. No, uh, where I'm pointing. Right there. Could you show me where it rolls? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. That forward. Forward. Yeah, that dead wood right there. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Right oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's natural the way it is, so I'm just, I just gonna leave it like like that. Okay. But there is one part I have to, I have to carve right here. You see the cut there? There's a big cut here. Oh, okay. Right here. This is where I want to cut. Right here. I mean, I uh, this is where I want to carve, carve right here. Yeah, the flat. But were you able to get that focused in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have uh, all the pads here, the apex, another one, and then possibly this one right here. I'm gonna pull this down just, just a little, little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're gonna use um, wire it down to yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah. So I want everyone to see the, f the final view and I'm going to turn it one more time. Hopefully you have a lot of questions for me. Yep, post your questions about the, if you think you should have did it differently or if anything is a little confusing. Yeah, hopefully it's not confusing. Yeah, it's always, for me it's like a little, because it seems like it's a little different from a, your typical bonsai tree. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, just because it's like, here's, I mean, normally with oleas like this is like, here's a bunch of dead wood. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then here's some leafy stuff here and there. But when it ramify, it will be, it, it will be, I would say it would, would be a nice tree to enjoy. So when, it's growing, like when you're growing your um, olea and you got a, a few like branches coming off mm -hmm. and that are going straight up, do you, are you pruning throughout the process? Are you do, doing branch selection there and letting it you know, grow and so on? Yes. Like talk about the development of the olea to get it to this point. Um, yeah. Right here, when I, this, this branch wasn't there when I had it, so I basically let it grow. 
and then put and I cut chop make the chop somewhere here so all these are from new growth right here okay all these are all from new growth so it takes time that's why like I told you before this tree uh, it takes me 15 years to get where it's at right now and I would say another five years before it's uh, you can say fully it's ramified into fully that. ramified com complete and ready to put it into a show hopefully it's here mm -hmm. for anyone to enjoy mm -hmm. yeah well, what position did you was it in when um you dug it out it was because i see the, how the it was tilted is. like this it was like like this but initial position it was like this oh, okay it, so it was basically this the soil line was here it was like wow. tilted. This let, let's okay. say this is nine degrees right here mm -hmm. from the apex. It was right the apex. This part was right here. Oh, okay. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then you just cut cut the top and dug it out. Yeah, yeah. I I actually got like a couple pieces with this, but uh, you can see the split line over here. But as far as like uh, this tree. Um, it didn't have any carving whatsoever, and it, this is the only carving that had to be. It has to be done here and then right here. That's two. But I can really blend it in with the the dead wood. Now, um, just carving and sandblasting, of course. The uh, just to let you guys know, because um, it was kind of hard to see on a detail cam. The secondary location he's talking about as far as carving that location is because it was cut, like yeah. a flat cut on it. A flat cut, yeah. You can't see it from here, but uh, it's visible from from this view right here. Yeah, it's nice that it's not mm -hmm. something that totally... Re so also, um, what, what should people be looking for when they're selecting a olea? Um, olea? Uh-huh. Um, I was... For me, I always, I always like um, dead wood. I, I like uh, maturity in, because it represents a whole new realm of uh, the artistic feel. And I truly, I was really fascinated with dead wood bonsai when I was uh, young. So I, I never, never had like, I never bought like a um, nursery grown tree from uh, from from the nursery to develop it, but you can you can do that to get the the experience. It's fun. It's it's fun, and you can if it's small tree, you can really wire in any different style or any different ways that you want. But for this tree, um, it takes time to develop all this branch branch right here branches right here. It takes time, but yeah. it's it's really fun. It's fun. And yeah. how about for like when you're looking at the tree, like this one has a lot of um, like live veins. You could obviously see where it is, but so right here, yeah. And what what's unique about this tree right here? Uh, can you put it on right here? I show you the um, if you can zoom in right here. Uh, zoom. Uh, z Roland, can you put it on the turn turntable? Uh, one more. <coughs> so right here, this is a unique part of this tree right here. It has a kind of like a hole or cave right here. It's very deep inside. It actually goes all the way through this. You can put a finger here. Oh, one second. Um, oh, okay, never mind. R Ruin said you're good. So continue. Right here. So you, it, that's only one unique characteristic. And the mm -hmm. other one, there's a lot, but I'll go over some right here. There's another one you can put your hand through it right here, your finger, right here. Yeah. And I don't know if you get you able to get the underneath view, but there's there's some some clay that's still cleaning onto it. But I would like to leave it like that for now because I want I want people to to know the history of this tree. Um, go ahead and start putting in your raffles, your final 
yeah. Um, Thank you everyone for joining me today to uh, um, enjoy our time together with this uh, olive tree. Uh, hopefully, uh, you would uh, you able to learn uh, to get to learn something from it or to enjoy it. Thank you very much for your time and uh, thank you very much f um, for uh, Austin for being a for for being a good sh great shoe, shoe chef and summer <laughs> for hosting and Ru one for doing all the camera works and all the lighting. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye right. bye. Have a great night. <laughs> See you Thank later. You Dance your way off the stage. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, giving them. <laughs> One, two, three, life. Ooh. I mean, it's 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 back. Looks great, man. Okay, it's mm -hmm. back. Thank you. All right, all right, guys. Sorry. It's hard for me to, because I can't it see them from the view. Um, yeah. But because you have to put it. Yeah. I understand. But it's, Ruan it's, uh, was done. He was like, "We're out." No. Yeah. So for the raffle, we have more, more, more than I expected. <laughs> yeah, really good. yeah. Thank you, Vincent. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and this is on YouTube. Okay. So so far we have Brandon, Mike, or Brandon with five, Mike with two, Jarrett with five, and Zach with five tickets so oh, far. Go I'm gonna give you guys the cake. Um, until like, you know all the cuts. We'd say. Another okay. five more minutes, no, the, the and then I'll go ahead yeah. and do the generated um, number for them. So we don't have to do that live right now. Um, I do want to give you guys time to get in to Slack or whatever to um, put your tickets in. And then I'll post the results at 10 p.m. So check back at 10 p.m. All right. What's that? Oh, yes. Go okay. ahead and do your... Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we'll see you all next time. Good night. Good night.